Hi, my name is Ryan O'Hare. I'm a PA in the Emergency Department in High Point, North Carolina. Today we'll be uh, doing an annotated bibliography for the article entitled The Five-Stage Model of Adult Skill Acquisition by Stuart Dreyfus. So kind of an overview of the article. Um, so basically the article itself is an entire summary of the author's five-stage model of adult skill acquisition. Um, and then at the end, they do a very good job of uh, giving us a comparison chart to kind of compare between the two. So this is kind of an overview of the Dreyfus model. Um, we'll kind of go into that throughout the lecture. So the first stage, um, is stage one, is the novice. Uh, so the big things about this is that the instructor um, is decomposing the task environment into the context-free features that the beginner can recognize without the desired skill. Uh, the beginner gives rules for determining actions on the basis of the features, i.e. how a computer just follows a program and the inputs that we give them. Um, kind of throughout all these stages, we'll give an example of a student driver who's learning to drive with a um, stick shift. So a student driver that's told to, you know, switch into second gear whenever a speedometer hits, you know, 10 miles per hour is an example. Um, yet we all know that, you know, this can change due to condition of the car, condition of the environment, the weather, how fast you're going, et cetera. Um, so the issue with this and only maintaining in stage one is that following the rules will produce a poor performance uh, whenever you get into the real world. Stage two is the advanced beginner. In this stage, the novice has gained some experience with real life situations. They develop an understanding and are able to point out examples of meaningful aspects of the situation or the domain. After seeing a sufficient number of examples, the student learns to recognize these new aspects. You know, the example with that driver is now the advanced driver uses the engine sounds and speed to determine when to shift gears. Uh, the issue with this still is that learning is still a detached um, analytic mind frame. Stage three is competence. With more experience, the number of elements the learner is able to recognize uh, can be overwhelming. The learner questions what is important and worries of, of ever mastering the skill because there's so many different um, factors that can go into this. The learner must devise a plan to determine which elements of a situation are important and which can be ignored, uh, therefore making the decision uh, a lot easier. So the example with the driver, the driver is you know, leave, leaving a freeway on an off-ramp, uh, taking into account the speed, the service condition, all these other uh, variables, and is able to decide if they're going to go, you know, if, if he's going too fast, if he's not going fast enough, and decide uh, to simply let go of the gas if they're going to shift gears or if he needs to actually press on the brake and when to do so. Stage four is proficiency. Uh, to achieve proficiency, um, as the competent performer becomes more emotionally involved in the task, the learner finds it difficult to do the rule following stance uh, that a beginner did. The resulting positive or negative emotional experience uh, strengthens the perspective of the learner. And then finally, the learner's theory of the skill will be replaced by situational discrimination. The example with that driver, a proficient driver approaching a curve on a rainy day uh, may feel the car going too fast and as I decide to apply the brakes or reduce that pressure, a proficient driver is able to understand how to manage the curve quicker and more efficiently than that competent driver. Stage five is expertise, uh, sees what needs to be done and decides how to do it. The learner also sees immediately how to achieve this goal, the ability to make subtle and ref refined discriminations is what makes an expert um, an expert from a proficient learner. The example with our driver, the expert driver knows how to perform the appropriate action without even calculating or comparing alternatives. Um, they just, what simply must be done is done. And it's just kind of, um, doesn't take any more kind of thought process for that. So this is just a really good wrap up um, of everything we've kind of talked about throughout this, um, article and it just gives you, you know those those skills and then comparing the components of it the perspective the decision and the commitment to it and here are my references thank you